a little much. Yeah. I, got, I got to admit, Cruz is a little much. Might yeah. have to tone that down a little bit next year. But yeah. nonetheless, uh, always entertaining to watch, as are these doubles right here. So I believe we're going to get into uh, the semis, if I'm not mistaken here. Yep. So this is going to be semis between Zero and Nairo against Como and Renai, obviously, as we've yep. alluded to multiple times. Como and Renai coming in as the Genesis 3 doubles yes. champions last year. And to put this into perspective, this, this was grand finals last year. Yeah. And right now it's semis. That just shows you how much this gr game has grown, as well as the players. Exactly. And guys, really quick, we just wanted to give a quick shout out to HTC. Want to thank them for sponsoring Genesis for the second year in a row. No doubt. They make awesome phones. You guys can check them out, htcesports.io slash Genesis4. You can check out their new phone, the HTC Ultra. Also, uh, go ahead and follow at HTC Esports on Twitter. They do giveaways, you know, have awesome stuff. Go ahead and check them out, man. Yeah, they do a lot for the scene, man. Big, big shout out to them, especially uh, the continued support of a great series here like Genesis, man, in its fourth installment. Absolutely. So the winner of this set is going to move on, and they're going to be playing the team that we saw in that last set, being uh, Anti and Salem. And you got to wonder, you got to look ahead and say, okay, Anti Salem. Losing that last set was yes. so crucial because, as you said, both of these guys were in grand finals last year. I don't think it's a stretch to say that they're going to be pushing to make it to grand finals this year. Sure. That is a terrifying prospect for Anti and Salem to go against either of these teams. Like when you look at a bracket like this in your top four and any of these combinations could have made it to grand finals, it, it does get that much more terrifying. Exactly. I <laughs> like to say the least. Um, the one thing I would say that I think Anti and Salem can kind of lean back on is the fact that if they do end up having to face off against Zero and Nairo, they have the, the luxury of knowing they already sent them to the loser bracket. Definitely. Event. So that's yep. a good confidence booster. But uh, again, man, you just cannot sleep. You know, when Como and Renai reunite, some deadly things happen. Absolutely. So Probably. Nairo actually has been under the microscope a little bit this tournament, as we saw in that last set when they fought against Abadango and Kamamushi, or I'm sorry, Kameme. Uh, he actually pulled out Lucina. He went yep. cloud a few games, and then he said, oh, I don't think this is working out. Went Lucina, and they ended up winning that set in a 3-2 victory. Very close. It was. It but really you got to wonder what other characters he has up his sleeve. Well, you know, Nairo, you know, I see him warming up the cloud, the ZSS, the Lucina, the Bowser. Like, he has, you know, a couple characters that I'm sure he's com comfortable going with, but really he was pretty hard on himself in that last set. He said, you know, Zero wasn't able to stock tank uh, the way he was. You know, he would have lost that all thanks to me. And I told him all the time, you know, he's got to kind of take that pressure off your shoulders Understand you got another set. It's a fresh new set, man. You got to work with what you got here. It looks like he's going to go ahead and elect to bring out the Cloud here. All right, so Cloud Diddy against Cloud Villager. Let's we'll see how this goes. And I really think that Nairo is going to be the one to watch sure. in this set. I mean, Renai is so proficient off stage, and if he's able to get those gimps onto Nairo and take out that stock early, it's going to be bad news. Yeah. Uh, Nairo has shown that he knows how to get around it, but all it takes is one misstep. Uh, for sure, you know, Como is definitely like the safest cloud I've ever seen play, and that benefits him so much in doubles, you know what I mean? That's what you want out of a teammate. Look at somebody playing a character like Cloud here. Okay, able to preserve that limit, good jump. And right now you can see Red Team with a huge amount of percent. Yep. They're fighting back and they're doing a good job, but right now Blue Team with a solid lead right now in the set. Nicely done, and they immediately take care of Como's stock right there. It's good to take out that stock earlier rather than later, and I know that's an obvious thing to say, mm -hmm. but sometimes you'll see people live in these sets to, you know, 120, exactly. 130, 140. If you can't take out that stock quickly, it could be really bad for you in the long run. Exactly, exactly where the term stock tank came from, in fact. Oh, nicely done. Oh, unfortunately, not going to make it back, though. A little too far from the ledge there for Nairo. Just barely, too. But Zero sitting at a very modest percent, only 78 on him. Or nice stock, probably in a little bit of danger here. Got to keep an eye out for him. Yeah. And you can see Renai going for an offstage setup on Nairo. Nairo just jumping right out of that. He was at too low a percent yep. to really get hit too hard. Oh, wow, just charging that up, anticipating that spot dodge, and really makes Como pay. Already Como onto his last stock. Uh, very uncharacteristic for him. Yeah, that's scary. As you said, Como, uh, one of the safest clouds that we've seen play, probably the safest, but right now, I think that's kind of backfiring for him, going for that sure. spot dodge and picking these defensive options. Nairo is a character that can pull that apart if you start to get predictable with it. Yeah, playing maybe a little too passive would be, uh, would be what I say here. I mean, the fact that, you know, Zero and Nairo just committed to come out swinging and have not stopped at all has really benefited them a lot here in this first game. Incredibly impressed with what I'm seeing. Though. Fourth, or they've got Como off stage. Nairo just going to opt to not touch that. Nairo's kind of being batted 
you know, from left to right, yeah. going all over the place. There's the back throw, and Como gonna defend. Naira throwing out that preemptive strike on that blade beam, but it's not gonna happen on the left side of the stage. Renai hits the axe. Zero losing his first stock. Nairo is nice. not gonna be able to recover from and this. that was really good for Renai. Kind of just putting an exclamation point on that stock. Not gonna allow him even the opportunity to recover, or Zero maybe even going out there to try and recover and save him. Just not happening, man. Just such good synergy right now. And they've actually made this a little more doable here. I mean, you see Como still at that higher percent. Yeah, they have evened up the stocks, though. Exactly. And I mean, Cloud with Rage, nothing to sneeze at. If they can get some kind of, you know, back and forth kill combo into a finishing touch, this is definitely still doable. And as we said, Como known for his safe play style. And there's the up B from Nairo. Kind of a strange option. I think he thought that it was going to high enough that that might happen. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him get, you know, get that conversion a few times here, and it usually does take the stock, but not getting it done right there. Como hanging in. Wow, really escaping a lot of the situation that Zero is putting him in, but not that time. So now Renai gonna have to share that stock. Yeah, it's a see big lead for Blue Team, man. Look at Zero, still two stocks at 63. That is nothing for him right now. Yeah. And I mean, even if Nairo is, you know, about to fall, or if Zero falls, you gotta imagine that Zero wants that last stock, you know, the best player in the world, number one on the PGR. You want him in a 1v1 situation. Look, you asked me anything about basketball, I want Steph Curry taking that last, that last shot. And I want Zero with that last stock. But they are doing an excellent job here. I don't know if Como and Ryan are gonna be able to bring this one back. Oh, well, well, and... <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't want to say commentators curse. <laughs> well, that video just came out. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, it was top 10 commentators curse. I think that was Dragon Smash, and there's the up smash. And Zero just so good at knocking Como away yes. and striking before Renai can even realize what happened. That could have been a terrible situation for him if they just got some footstool combos back and forth. But Zero just striking immediately. Oh there's the cross God. smash on the side. Como with no hesitation, just letting it rip. Zero able to make it back. And look at oh, this. This is going to try and exploit this weak recovery of Cloud here. The, cl the platform is coming back, though. So he did have yep. an option. He's going to get back onto the stage because of it. But you can see how Como has evened this all the way back up. We thought this was impossible yep. just 30 seconds ago. That's just how volatile you know, doubles really are here. Right now, Zero trying oh, to make no. the opportunity happen. Como wants that limit. He needs it. I think he's going to get it before this is all said and done. There, there it is. Go. Banana verse limit right now. You gotta imagine he's gonna hold on to it. He's not gonna use it unless there's a 100% guaranteed setup, just because he knows he has other kill options. Unless. Oh, no. rolling through and zero finds the forward smash. Un. All right, you know what? I lied. <laughs> that was the that was the clearly the wrong thing to do. And it's kind of ironic because we were just you know praising him as the safest cloud. You know yeah. what I mean? And then oh, let me just let it rip. And <laughs> like you not, said, just very uncharacteristic. Just not paying off right there. But oh, yeah, and you can't do stuff like that against Zero. Like right. there, I, I know that Leo had that set with Zero where he just like he would charge a forward smash behind him, and Zero would roll into it. And Leo just kind of showing the world that Zero can bleed and that he's mortal. <laughs> but I mean, in that kind of situation, you gotta you gotta take stock of the situation. Yeah, that was a little know, crazy. And I gotta say, you know, that was actually really close, even despite that really poor start for for the red team. Absolutely. So you gotta kinda, yeah. Start to think what's gonna happen when they get off, you know, firing on all cylinders. You have to start. Uh, I guess maybe we'll see a chance at the third game because the <laughs> way that just started is clearly not the case. Como making a liar out of me right now. Oh, okay. I wonder if he was just shook after that last game. I don't know how that happened. Like, Dude. you know how in friendly sometimes you'll be like, oh, I thought it was the other club. Yeah. Like, that must have been it. Wow, this is a really bad start yet again here for Red Team. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking very bad. But like we said, they were at a disadvantage Man. last time, and they were able to bring it all the way back. So this is not undoable. Not not by any means, you know. What I mean? it, but it, 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 you just make it harder on yourself, right? Yeah, absolutely. Why do you want to be in that position? So little error right there. Got to expend that limit to get back here. And now we're just playing really safe. Good grab too. Yeah. Just throwing them off the stage here. Not even really worrying too much about Renai, right? They're just. Solely locked in on Como for good reason. Look at that, down to his last stock already. Yeah, kind of like what you were saying, Renai, just kind of helpless to save his partner. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really, I'm kind of surprised that he's just kind of sitting on the other side of the stage poking with these slingshots. I mean, both uh, Zero and Iro just able to shield, they're able to air dodge through them. Nothing is really hitting them, yeah, or, you know, stopping them from beating up on Como. Renai really hasn't done, you know, too much to help Como in these situations, as you said, and I'm really kind of curious about that. I'm not really sure what he's thinking, maybe just, I don't know, not confident in Villager's Village, ability to just get over there and do too much, sure. but you know what? No complaints on the part of Zero and Nairo. They're just dominating this game right now. Oh my gosh, right there. Just 
Although Tomo has to use one of Renai's stocks. Uses one of his three stocks before Renai can even lose one. God, and Tomo oh. is just getting hammered. Do you see this? The amount of percent zeros just putting on this guy unopposed is ridiculous yeah, right now. Yeah, Tomo is... Uh... Nairo finally relinquishing that first stock. And I don't know if you saw that, but Renai actually picked up the uh, banana. I don't think that's going to be much use in doubles, but he has it. It's in his pocket. Uh, that's the, just the case right there. Oh, okay. Making that tree grow, man, and trying to, you know, spark this offense, get something going for them. And you know what? Renai still hasn't lost the stock yet. Has only taken 103%. And we were talking about... Uh, never uh, he didn't lose the stock. He got it stolen from yeah. him by, <laughs> by Como on that one. I was going to say that, you know, maybe we were talking about stock tanks and sure. how valuable they can be. I yeah. thought Renai might be able to, to, you know, turn this one around. But him losing that stock there, I think that might have sealed the deal, unfortunately. Como at 103%. And there he goes. Yeah, and this is pretty... And this is definitely going to, you know, go in the favor here of Zero now. They're going to go up 2-0 right now. Unless you got to imagine that, like... A lot of players would just jump off. We saw Anti do it earlier, yeah. but the Japanese, I mean, that fighting spirit. They don't concede. They exactly. really don't concede to anything, man. And, and Renai looking to be that, you know, that kind of fabled beast that we know him to be right here and make this seemingly impossible comeback. I just don't know how well it's going to go. Now we're doing the right thing, just sitting back with his limit charged up, only coming in to just tick on a little, or attack on a little bit of damage. From time to time here, Zero just in full control, and you already know what happens when you're trapped on the ledge against him. Exactly. And I'm wondering if this is just, you know, for the purpose they're trying to get some data, trying to figure out some stuff. Might be able to pull some stuff out from this 2v1, but right now Renai is just, you know, valiantly fighting. Yeah. And I mean, Villager does have these, you know, kind of out of nowhere explosive kill options. But you got to imagine against, you know, number one and number three in the world. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but look oh, how wow. brave just, he is. You just jab him out. Of that limit? He just ran up to both of them and did nothing. He just stood in front of them like, yeah, do something. Wh what are you it, doing? It kind of like, lends, lends itself to that psychotic personality that Villager looks like he has <laughs> with that sadistic <laughs> smile on his face. All, he had the axe the in his hand, dude. He's like, come out that shield. Come out that shield. I may not win this match, but I'm going to take your life. Just no fear. But you know what? Unfortunately, uh, no wins yet. They are not on the board. They are trailing right now. 0-2. Yeah. It's one of the best teams in the wor world right now. Yeah, and you can see Zero and Nairo just absolutely focused on the game. No conversation. They're not, not talking. Yeah, They're not, know. you know, figuring anything out. They know their game plan. They've been teaming for so long. Yes. They have nothing really to talk about, especially at those first two games. I mean, I feel like they feel confident in how this next game is going to go. And this is really, like, tremendous for them, too, right? You kind of think of the fact they're getting a – if they do win here, right, they get a little bit of uh, of redemption from last year, right, losing yeah. to them yep. in the grand finals. And then you kind of think they get another chance, another crack at Salem – and, uh, and anti. Yeah. So they got a lot on their plate here. They're trying to handle a lot of business right now. Right. So here we go. We are going into game three right now. Zero Nair with a 2 0 lead. I imagine that they ban Lilat because the Japanese team definitely does like that stage. Yeah, that's surprising. Man. They, they have no issues or problems going there. But, uh, that surprised me too. BB and J said that. And I was like, really? That's, yeah. uh, that's their pick, but apparently so. And uh, Smashville is the pick for game three, so we're just going right back here. Just keeping it consistent. Oh, charging up that down smash. Looking to take out Como stock early. Not going to happen, though, on this exchange. Thank goodness. I mean, if Como I know, lost another stock. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, that oh, early, man. I might be shopping for new teammates. I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. I hate to say it. But no, they're off to a much better start here. And Nairo already in a terrible position. Forced to burn that limit just to recover here. It's a very good nair from Como putting him off on the side. Nairo now with no limit. Como does have one. Zero going to knock him off on the side. He's going to recover just fine. Red team looking a lot more comfortable. Renai coming into this game with the same stock tank mindset that he did for the last yes. one. He's only at 50%. And right there, right there both of is. the blue team loses a stock. Red team with a big lead starting out. That is exactly what they needed here. If you're going to come back and win three games in a row, I guess, you know, one of the best double teams in the world, you're going to you're gonna have to start this off, you know, with authority. Definitely. Especially in this third game here. And they just did that big time. Liking what I'm seeing thus far. I like right the fact there. that Como stocks have survived longer than 30 seconds. That, oh, yeah. Definitely yeah. That's a, a much-needed really. improvement, yeah. right? <laughs> Just going high to avoid that cross slash. Still, he lives. Just barely at 147. Yep. Zero going for that wild forward smash. Right now, Renai and Como in the driver's seat for this match. There's the up throw into the up air. That is going to do it. All right. Renai still with three stocks here. Trying to 
Renai right got the grab bit. there, and I think he was thinking yeah. about it because he wanted to see Nairo's percent. Yep. He wasn't going to die to that back throw. But did get him off stage. Nairo now with a limit. They're going to try to burn through that as soon as possible. And Como already taking 47% off that grab combo. He's already off stage again. Yeah, I got to say, man, these are the situations that I don't know why Renai is leaving Como alone in. Like, he has just done such a good job at executing and putting on all that percent. Como with really not too many answers to Zero here and the 1v1s. Yeah, Zero is just honing in on Como in the 1v1. Yep. And Nairo's doing just fine against Renai. I don't think he's engaging all that much. He's not trying to make too much happen. And there's the back air from Como to Nairo. Nairo on his last stock yeah. now. Blue team is reeling. Really good pickup right there from Como. Needed to get that and then just slicing through that stock. Does Renai putting them both on their final stocks. In fact, Renai yet to even lose one. Man has definitely been awakened right now. Yeah, and you saw this happen actually in their earlier set. So it was against uh, Elegant and Arvark. Como and I actually lost the first game yep. against uh, SoCal's team, and then they went ahead and won the rest of them pretty handily. Yeah, and a lot of people were saying that Como, yeah. you know, he woke up. So you gotta wonder if he's doing that here too. Yeah, that's kind of like the advantage of a best of five, right? It just yields itself to give you a little more time to just kind of adapt and finally find your footing. And it looks like that is exactly what Como and I have been able to do in this game three. Right. The up air, so Renai finally losing his first yep. stock. They're going to need some gimps on Como's side. He's able Ooh. to get that limit back. And he's fortunate right there because Nairo had him dead to rights without it. Trying to get rid of Como. You can see them doing it. They want to get rid of Como, so he has to take Renai's second stock. Right now, Nairo off on the side. That's honestly the only strategy they have right now as far as trying to stay alive here. Good save by Zero. No, I thought it was a good save. I thought it actually gave Nairo enough time to get his limit back. Yeah and then make it back to the stage, but was not meant to be right here. And so for the first time, Zero finds himself in a 2v1. Yeah. With the carry situation. So the roles have been reversed right now. Red team with a three stock advantage. Zero at 120. That's it. That's it. Yep. And, that is, and they needed to win that by like a large margin, I feel like. Not, I agree. like, not like in a close bout. Like that needed to be a blood, and that's exactly what they got. So they I got agree. a little bit of steam here going into game four. Um, and looking to send it to game five, man. You can see a lot more conversation happening on Zero and Nairo's right, yeah. side. I mean, they're talking a lot more now. That was the catalyst <laughs> they needed, I yeah. think. They won <laughs> They won that last game, and they were pretty stoic about it. Like, yeah. all right, let's get on to the next one. But, no, nah, you see them chit-chatting right now, maybe consider some options. You know, again, we've seen Nairo switch characters a couple of times here. He's got the ZSS and the Lucina to fall back on as well if he doesn't feel like the Cloud's getting it done. But What about the Bowser, man? Come on. But what, what, in what, doubles. What, what, what about it? Man? <laughs> but honestly, no. Like, if you like keep up with like some Japanese results, man, you know Renai has struggled against Bowser yep. over the last couple of tournaments. So, <laughs> yeah, would, would not be the worst game. But I'll tell you that. I, I mean, maybe in singles. I mean, in doubles. Yeah, exactly. Yikes. Can you imagine against Cloud and uh, Villager? That just seems so uh, scary. So here we go. We are out to game four. 2-1 in Zero Nairo's favor. They're going to try to do their best to just end this set yep. quickly because I have a feeling that if Renai and Como could take this next game, it's going to, uh, you know, that momentum, that train is going to keep rolling on. It's, it's going to rattle them, man. It's exactly. going to rattle them to, the, to a point where, you know, that, that game five is, is in a lot of danger. Yep. That's the problem here. You want to, you know, not waste too much energy, especially knowing the battle you have coming up in the, you know, potential exactly. Losers Finals rematch against Salem and Anti, and of course, Grand Finals with Leo and Allen. Not going to get any easier, man. It's a long road for both of these teams, Absolutely. whether they win or lose here. So it looks like we're going to Final Destination once more on this next game. I have to see how this goes. All right, let's get it. One, go. You see Como rushing right in. He does not want to sit back and charge the limit. He tries to, you know, kind of gauge their options, try to figure out what yep. goes on, and then he backs up once more. And remember, we were pretty critical of him in those first two games of being a little too passive. I think in that last game he showed that he can be aggressive and still be safe, you know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. So now we're not able to connect. Oh, but Como is, but that percent a little too low for anything to happen. They're just trading hits off the stage right now. Yeah, there's a lot going on on the left side of the stage. Both clouds just in these precarious positions. But right now both have limits, so they're going to be okay. Nairo having to burn it right there. Nice. These so guys many throw combos. Getting all these good pickups. Back and forth we go. But Nairo, though, notice he is on the lower end of that percent. You can see Kobo off on the side. He does have limits, so he has to use it. He's trying to hurt Zero right now. He gets Nairo off the stage, tries to hit him with an air, but gets an up air for, the, for his troubles. He's only at 163, oh. but he hits his partner, gets hit by the Lloyd. Good hit right there. And now Renai looks at that percent, 133. You already know that stock's on a little bit of borrowed time right now. So smart from Como. He charges the down smash and gets Nairo off the stage. Oh, what he has a to catch from Renai. And the extra effort right there gets the stock off. 
putting the red team ahead right now. Red team doing excellent here. Renai at 133% showing he's not just a stock tank. Always willing to go that extra mile is Renai. Just so crafty and clever, man. That's when you think you have him dead to rights. He just rises up like the Undertaker. <laughs> Good. So right now, red team on the right side of the stage kind of reeling. But I mean, uh, Renai, like we said, at 133, doing an awesome job of stock tanking and taking these opportunities. It just seems like they're finding these openings much more than right. they did in the uh, first two games. And finding these opportunities to be able to take the stocks out. Again, that's the advantage of a long set like this, man. You take advantage of that time given to adjust and make some you know, better decisions going forward here. And that's exactly what Renai and Como have done. Uh, Renai yet to lose a stock, pointing that out yet again, because Como, you know, stock in a little bit of danger here, I must say. He's going to have to burn this limit, perhaps. Yeah, he's going to do it in an aggressive way, though. I think smart. that was really smart on his I part. Agree. Barrow was definitely there, out for blood, but not getting any. So now Como at 151, he is the X Factor here. You gotta hope that he holds on to that stock, but over there, Renai actually taking out Zero again. Zero on his last one, Renai still has three. Until now, now he has two. Right. I'm just cursed, man, it's <laughs> me, it's me, like, ugh. I, I just say it's good anticipation. There you go, that's fine. That's the way I look at it. Know who oh to look at at all goodness. times. And there goes Nairo. I'm looking at this red team right now. They have had a, a resurgence from those first two games right now. They're just dominating Zero and Nairo. Yeah. Goodness the gracious. 79, and uh, you know, this would look even if we didn't see that Renai oh, had two stocks I left. Just, I think Como accidentally you know, buffered that four there, and he went a little too low right there. He's gonna drop that stock. Lucky for him, Renai still had a very modest percent and two stocks on him. Of course, you see Zero, and this is kind of what Zero benefited a lot in a couple of these games, just targeting Como, right? Getting him in these 1v1 situations and just kind of dominating him for the most part. Absolutely. And it looks like that is exactly the uh, the narrative he's going for right now. They're just trying to make this comeback a reality, but Nairo is launched off, and he is not coming back. Zero yet again finds himself in a 2v1 situation, and I see Nairo up there just shaking his head, and that is not going to bode well going into game five. Yeah, this if His is confidence is shattered a little bit. And, and like you said, I mean, we see Zero constantly going straight for Como. Yep. He wants that 1v1 situation, and Como has been able to find his partner quicker and, you know, it, at more opportunities. And credit to Renai, too. He's done a better job at being there for Como, like aiding him when he's in trouble. Our this one, is, yeah, yeah he's got one, nothing here. Yeah, went for the Hail Mary play right there, but that is not Aaron Rodgers. But we do have game five. So game five it is. Zero and Nairo going to have a long conversation yep. now. <laughs> uh, and you can see kind of a smile on uh, Renai's face. Como and Renai going to have a bit of a chat as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, as... You know, handily as they lost those first two games, like you always got to keep in the back of your mind, like these guys won last year. You know, they're always a force over there in Japan. They are praised as being one of the best teams for a good reason. Yep. You know, it's not surprising that they're able to kind of rally here, win these next two, um, and take it to Game Five. Yep. You know, it's up, it's on the, it's up to Nairo and Zero right here to kind of get back that juice and keep it together and not get overwhelmed here. Absolutely, get their mojo back. But and right there, the mojo might lie with Lucina. We heard Nairo yep. switch, and here we go, and I, back I, to Smashville. I can't say I'm surprised by this switch at all, man. The cloud was just kind of getting worked in the last two games. I think he understood that. Got to switch it up, man. You got enough data on the cloud. Let's bring out the Lucina. It served him well in the past. Kind of like what you were tournament. saying. Yeah, kind of like what you were saying. I, I just realized this, but we didn't see many if any, you know, finishing touch kills or right. any kind of follow-ups in those last few games. And I feel like that's where Nairo is kind of struggling. Como is beating him in the 1v1 in the neutral. The problem there was Nairo, it seemed to a point that the limit was only being used to just recover, right? Yep. He wasn't getting any, you know, kind of offense out of it. But right now, this is looking good for the blue team. They're definitely down a percent, winning in the neutral a lot more. Red team's got to find an answer. And I mean, maybe this character shakeup could do enough. Luciana not seen very often. Yeah, I mean, I remember the first time that he actually, oh, are they going to trade stock there? They are, and that is, oh, wait, no, they're not. No, not wow, quite, I didn't no. even notice that. I was so, you know, honed in on that finishing touch. Wow, and we had just given them so much credit for how yep. they started off the match. And look how quickly things shift. Yep. Oh, and Nairo not setting him the direction he wants right there. Unfortunate, Renai keeping that stock alive. Oh, and a little bit of a miscommunication there. It looked like Como was dead to rights. He got hit by that down tilt. If Zero went a little bit further, or if Nairo actually, you know, committed, they should have been able to take out that stock from Como, but it did not happen. There's the forward air. Como's going to be able to recover because he does have that limit. Very lucky. Well, I got to say, I feel like Nairo got a little bit unlucky on a, you know, a few of these exchanges right here. Let's see if he can hold Up it together, throw. though. No, not quite. Not quite. Oh, things are just going terribly for the blue team right now. 
This is now looking just, yeah, Now bad. just throwing out these forward smashes. Got to be a little more reserved in his decisions with that. But the up B able to connect and then fires back immediately with the up air, getting his team right back in this thing. And you got to watch Zero. Zero's at three stocks. He is at 134, he, but he does not hold on to it. There's the back air from Como. He did it again. I did, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I, there should be just top 10 Coney curses like in this set alone. I like, feel this like that, is needs, ridiculous. that needs to be a thing. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to watch these guys. And right now, Nairo is the guy to watch at 114. He is going to be able to recover. Oh, oh my happened? God. There, no. Coney, stop talking. <laughs> he used Dancing Blade. <laughs> he didn't use Dolphin. I, okay, I, I all right. Was, yeah, I must have, that was clearly an accident. Uh, I mean, there, there was no way that input was on purpose. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm so scared to open my mouth now. Like I, I don't know okay, what to man. say. I mean, I gotta say, you know, red team has definitely opened up a lead here. My goodness, it's gonna be all on the back of zero right now to just you know keep these stocks alive and kind of shoulder that burden because now he just dropped the ball a couple of times here, and it's really cost his team. Yeah, absolutely. He goes for the counter there. That was Not gonna actually reverse the up anyway. And you can see right there, I mean, they had the setup for the grab Nicely into the done. up smash. It did not happen, but they did take out Como's stock there. Yeah. And you know what? Despite everything. This is looking a lot more even than you might think. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you really consider a lot of these plays here, and you would think that they would you know, be down about three stocks. Exactly. No, they're actually evened up here. The percent a little off, but not by too much. All right. Tonight. And here we go. So you can see right there, Zero was in a situation where he had Como in the 1v1. He wanted to stay in that situation, but unfortunately, Nairo got beat up by Renai, and he lost the stock early. Oh Zero getting punished for that strategy, and, and now it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Oh, I mean, by all rights, it probably is. But you know what? I've seen Nairo do some incredible things time and time again. And right now, though, it may be the hardest task he's had to do as far as a double setting goes right now. Homo, Renai, and they are just not going to let it happen. No, sir. They eliminate Nairo and Zero out in fourth place. My good. And number. to do it. Two games down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. To eliminate the, the number one and the number three in the world, yep. according to the PGR. And, like, I'm telling you, man, when you're up 2-0, it's a great feeling. But when you lose that first game and it's 2-1, the, the, the feelings start. You yeah. get the butterflies in your stomach. You start to get the heebie-jeebies. You got to close it why. out. You got to close it out. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world to drop a game, right? But when yep. you're in game four and you realize that you're losing, your mentality changes because you kind of go into panic mode. And I Absolutely. feel like that's really what we saw out of uh, more so Nairo than Zero. Right? I, I feel like I Zero agree. played, you know, calm and cool under pressure. Nairo just kind of let it get to him a little bit. We saw some, you know, missing put side being instead of up being to keep that stock alive, you know, dropping stocks off Lucina a little quicker than we're used to seeing. Right. It just all didn't work out too well. And I mean, that's kind of Nairo's thing, right? I mean, he, he's kind of a more, you know, passionate player. He is. He's more emotion Absolutely. fueled. And unfortunately, I mean, that runs hot and cold. Yeah. And unfortunately, there in those last three games, it just not come together for him. But it's good to see that the set wasn't uh, lost totally by Como. You know, it, like we said, he just kind of wasn't awake in those first two games. We saw him lose stocks at very, you know, low percents. We saw him take his own stocks a couple times, yeah, right? Like it, his recovery didn't really just make sense. wasn't all there. But, you know, at some point, they just pulled it together, man, understanding, you know what? We still have an opportunity. Let's make the most out of it. And boy, if they didn't right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So good stuff to Como and Renai. They will be facing, of course, uh, Anti and Salem yep. coming up now. And this is Losers Finals. Yes, it is. Winner will go on to Ally and MK Leo for Grands. So we'll have to see how this goes. Salem, as uh, we were talking about playing cool and collected. I yep. mean, that's Salem, man. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Salem, like, somebody doesn't even, like, play with any emotions for the most part. You know, yeah, he's always yeah, just yeah. sitting there in his little sailor hat. You know, sometimes you'll see, see him crack a smirk or whatever. And, of course, anti Swagmaster 9000 right here. <laughs> <laughs> Guy. All right, guys. We also wanted to just give a quick shout-out to NVIDIA. Yeah. They actually sponsored the, uh, the Tower Fall tournament. So thank you guys for doing that. You can follow NVIDIA at NVIDIA GE Force to support. Yeah, I know that uh, that Towerfall game, Jabali was actually really hyped about that. He said he has a really good chance of winning it. Um, I, I bet him $10 he didn't have a chance. Uh, <laughs> but that's yeah. just me. Well, what this.